Alrighty. I'm live. I don't know if anyone will pop in or not. Let's see. There we go. How is everybody today? Today, it's 2 o'clock Central Time at the Branson RV Park. Beautiful, cloudy today, Branson, Missouri. We had a beautiful day yesterday. That's why we're outside. And now today, it is... What is the temperature outside? 50? Pretty close. Pretty close. 50. 50. 50. Hi, Gwen. Gwen's on. It's 50 degrees outside and cloudy. So, I thought today um, I would talk about bacon. I've actually been meaning to talk about bacon. So, um, you would think, living in the Ozarks, you could find... I don't even know if there is such a thing as organic pork. I guess those ribs from Walmart were uh, hormone free. But anyway, bacon is a big one. People love bacon. And I needed bacon for the jalapeno poppers. So I've been meaning to do this anyway. So I went to the Corporate America, my least favorite store, but only has uh, organic grass-fed beef, Walmart. Man, going into Walmart's like going into a rabbit hole just drives me crazy. So anyway, um, so I was standing there in the bacon section and I started looking at packages of bacon. I noticed Hormel has a, what they called a natural, it said natural bacon. Well, I flipped over the, um, ingredient list and I mean, it had a list like half the dang package long. So anyway, it had a bunch of preservatives in it. I noticed that it had sugar in it and I, probably using it as a preservative. And I also noticed they had salt. Well, of course, that's your iodized salt. So that was out. Pitch, pitched it. Farmland had uh, one pound bacon packages, and they were similar to the Hormel. And I, it was a little bit better, not quite as many preservatives. And their packaging actually says, oh, what did they say? Uh, no, no hormones added. Okay. That, that can be taken a couple different ways. No, no hormones added to maybe a pig that already had hormones. Like, it's not clear to me. You know what I mean? Like, is it nor, is, if it really was hormone free, I would think it would say no hor our animals don't have hormones in them at all. I mean, that, that's pretty clear to me, but marketing uh, in the food industry and in the pharmaceutical industry has become very, very creative very, very, you got to be very in tune with what words mean. So, um, no added hormones can, doesn't mean it's hormone free. In my opinion, that just means they didn't add any other preservatives or hormones to what was already there in the hormoned pig. So I went through all the labels and it was very, very difficult. I did not find hormone free bacon at Walmart. I found the best option in all the options because honestly Walmart's going to have your most options anyway for bacon. So I wound up with the Farmland brand. However, this is the thick cut um pound and a half package. Yes, it says um no added hormones. It says it's a product of the United States, which is great for us Americans. And then it says no artificial flavors or MSG, which is great. However, let's turn around the package and read what's in here. And I will tell you why I chose this brand of bacon or why this particular one when I'm done. So in the ingredients, we have um, cured with. Now it says cured with. It doesn't say ingredients. It says cured with. Water, sea salt, sugar, sodium phosphates, sodium urethorbate, and sodium nitrate. I can tell you right now that sodium phosphates and sodium nitrates is a preservative. Um, if you ever drink a lot of wine, okay, not a lot of wine. I drink a lot of wine. Gwen, your mom drink, knows that I drink a lot of wine. I guess your mom drinks wine too. Anyway, um, sodium nitrates are a preservative that is put in wine. And sometimes when people say they have a wine headache, it's actually they're just sensitive to sulf sulfates, sulfites. And that's what that is. So they have the same thing similar in this bacon okay why I chose this is there's one two three 
four, five, six, six things on the label of this. Now, I'm not a fan of the preservatives, but I'm telling you, I'm trying to leverage myself above the hormones and the preservatives, okay? When I picked up all the other packages of bacon, they had uh, not six. I'm talking like 20, 15, 20, 10. I mean, just, it was ingredient after ingredient after ingredient. So, I mean, I don't know. This particular one is out of Kansas City, Missouri, which we're in Branson, Missouri, and Kansas City, Missouri is not all that far from where we live. So it's almost like this was kind of the best I could get. The best you can absolutely get, in my opinion, is wild hog. <laughs> you know, wild hog hunting is huge around here. So um, I know Don has had access to wild hog before because his uh, buddy Rich actually raises them, hunts them. He's got a slew of dogs that um, do that, and it is very very good it's very good so that would be your absolute best choice if you're a hog hunter go get it in fact there's no limit in missouri i believe on how many you can have so just go they tear up they tear up the farmland uh for farmers uh, they dig holes and they bury themselves and what happens is cows and horses will fall into these holes that they build break their legs and then the uh, they have to be put down because now they are hurt and they can't produce so that's that's mainly why so anyway that's why i wanted to come in on today i picked this bacon for that reason is it perfect absolutely not is it the best choice that i could get yesterday where i lived yes so pay attention if you can have access to fresh organic you know grass-fed pigs and and they can be harvested and you know where it comes from that is your best choice this was my second best choice of bacon now do i eat this all the time no, I don't eat it all the time. Do I need to eat it every day? No, I don't need to eat it every day. Should you eat it every day? No, you shouldn't eat it every day. You should be um, working within our hormone zone roadmap. And we all have different trails, but we're all at least on the map. And that's where you need to be. And that's where your road to success is. So anyway, leave me a comment if this helped you. Leave me a comment or question if you need more information. And I will see you on the next video. Enjoy your day. And I will talk to you later.